Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Manuel. Let's just start off with your view on the market and, and where you see it going from here, because we saw some worrying figures coming through from the government last week, showing that the deficit is going to increase to 6.7%. That's above targets. That's above the IMF targets as well. Uh, has this had any imp impact on the market? Do you expect this kind of negative economic not data to have any impact on sentiment towards uh, Ghanaian equities? Um, not, not yet. Um, this, this uh, we still in uh, the early days. Um, uh, we, we expect this to have a positive impact uh, the following uh, week. Um, we also have uh, some uh, coming up with uh, its uh, second uh, half uh, report. Um, its uh, revenue was up by almost uh, 41 percent, uh, despite uh, its uh, uh, cost uh, going up as high as. Um, 53 uh, percent. This um, actually saw it reporting a bottom line of um, uh, about 31 percent uh, after the movement, uh, which is a very good indicator. Um, we've also had uh, the, the company expanding uh, its uh, warehouse uh, facilities, uh, which was also giving a very good result. Uh, they've also had more uh, tracks and also embarked on uh, aggressive uh, marketing. This is also a part of uh, the reasons why we have uh, the stock. Uh, uh, talking about very good uh, figures. And uh, since we came up with uh, these uh, figures, uh, we've had, uh, the stock, uh, uh, we've had an increase in demand. Uh, besides, besides the farm of, uh, we've also seen uh, constant uh, demand for stuff like uh, Ghana oil. Uh, and uh, we've also seen a uh, uh, block, block trade in the uh, yeah. power bank. Uh, we, 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 we expect uh, this, this to continue for a while. And, uh, we, we, we also expect uh, other companies to come up with very good, uh, happier uh, figures. And this uh, should, should actually drive the market in the right direction. Yeah, yeah let's, if, we, if we're talking about the oil sector, you mentioned Ghana Oil. Tallow Oil, of course, is also uh, the largest listed stock on the market. And we know it's a company that's one of the best uh, oil and gas explorers. It's uh, struck new oil that announced last week. Um, is the market confident that it will be able to, to take the oil that it's found and actually take it out of the ground and, and turn that into money? Because it has been, has been plagued in, in the past by the fact that it hasn't met its Production targets. Yes, uh, the, the new discoveries are actually uh, good. Uh, this will actually uh, see the company producing uh, more uh, barrels uh, in a day. Um, even though uh, the, the price uh, is a bit uh, stagnant at, at this point, um, I think um, it will actually take a bit of time uh, for, for this uh, discovery to also uh, come on board uh, to actually result in uh, an improvement in uh, its, its bottom line. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, uh, one of the stocks that has been selling off is ETI, EcoBank Transnational. And uh, it's interesting to look at because there has been a lot of positive sentiment around the company, uh, but yet the stock is still trading at, at quite a discount to its book value. Uh, why do you think that's so? Yes, uh, besides the fact that um, it, it, uh, it is, is quite uh, large, um, we also have the, the, the price uh, not performing to the expectation of the investing uh, public. Uh, for, for that reason, uh, we see uh, quite a number of uh, retail investors uh, offloading at uh, a huge uh, discount to, to market uh, prices. Yeah. Uh, okay, so th there we go. That's, of course, the banking sector. But, Manuel, overall, if you had to position yourself in the market this week, which stock do you think is positioned for, for the upside? Um, yes, uh, investor interest uh, is still uh, high in uh, Ghana oil. Uh, we also see that in the uh, car bank. Um, that, that was the farm uh, uh, started uh, going up. Uh, this, these are the three main stocks that, that I think would drive the market to this week. There we go. That, uh, that Emmanuel Stock Picks, Cull Bank and Ghana Oil Company. Uh, that's his stock picks for this week, that is. Emmanuel Zigby, stockbroker at New World Renaissance.